Hi, my name is Fern Dupont. I use they them pronouns and now presenting my capstone project. I'm a creative crafty person who's always loved reading and just recently I've decided to pursue a career as a librarian. So I was thinking how can I um, how can I combine these two interests in a way that reflects my future aspirations? So voila, my idea for a book box. Picture this, a free library that I build and paint myself that I can hopefully put in the school garden to increase a sense of community and sharing. However, there's a few issues with this plan. One, I don't know how to woodwork. <laughs> and two, will the school even let me build a book box in their garden? Well, <laughs> we'll find out. First off, let's start with the fun part, the design. I wanted all the materials to be sustainably found or repurposed. So I tried to make the design as simple as possible to accommodate this. It started off with a rectangle base and triangular roof, as well as two shelves for donated books, magazines, or even artwork. The whole structure would be stood atop a post, a wooden post, that is then cemented in the ground. The door would also be relatively simple, with a doorknob, flat, and a painted sign that said books on it. I pictured the box being all in this soothing green color and having a floral design so it could all match its garden environment. Um, this was just a simple idea in the beginning and I wanted sort of the theme of flowers but thought I could go more into specifics later. Now that I have the base design outlined, it's time to build. Yay! <laughs> but first, here's some more inspiration for the book box. So remember, when I started this project, I had no woodworking knowledge at all. So frankly, I was a little scared. And so I procrastinated. And procrastinated and then waited e even more until January, a month before the project was due, when I found the perfect cabinet sitting in an alley for free. This was my chance. I had to take it. Then I brought the box to my dad's garage. Well, my dad's garage isn't a workshop by any means, but he has some tools and I didn't want to bring the box any further. Also, there's a Home Depot a block away, so it was the best place to bring it. Once I had the box, production picked up. We started by removing the cabinet sliding door and cutting some leftover wood my dad had to make a shelf. During this, I learned how to use a handsaw. Me and my mom proceeded to get lost looking for screws in Home Depot, where we also bought wood and a handle for the door. Then we cut the wood and attached it. The door ended up being slightly too big, so we sanded it, which was pretty tedious. The next step was to attach part of the roof and start painting. I bought a can of spray paint in the perfect shade of green. My little brother helped out. 
Finally, we found some more wood scraps in the alley and I added them to the top of the roof to make room for a sign. At last, it was time to get into painting the details. I'm a part of book club and they have promised to take care of the book box when I graduate. So I asked them for some woodland themed design ideas. Here's what they came up with and here's my interpretation of that. This is how the paintings look on the box. You can see the woodland theme conveyed very successfully. I'm really proud of them. I used an acrylic paint and I plan on using a waterproof sealant on top. So in case it rains, the paintings don't get smudged. The sealant is called Verithane. This stuff is a lifesaver. It works miracles. It's my number one favorite hack I used in this project. The creative process was through. It brought me to my last and hardest step, the roofing and waterproofing. Introducing the most useful trick, number two, PL. This baby seals up anything. My dad's friend who works in construction says he uses it for everything. So I use it to seal up all the cracks in my work, especially ar along the rim of the roof and, <clears throat> and right above the door. That way, no water can seep into the box itself. The box was moved yet again, hopefully for the last time, to my friend's place because they have better tools, as you can see here with the saw. Next, we started on the shingles, or shakes, by taking a block of cedar and sawing it into the sections we had measured out. We planned for the shakes on the roof to be 4x4, four four, like this. To make the shakes themselves, I split the wood into individual rectangles by striking it with a blade and soft hammer down the grain. Once you hit it a few times, it splits pretty easily. Then you rinse and repeat 40 more times until you have enough to cover both sides of the roof. Here's some videos of the process of making shingles. during all of this, I got into the Library Sciences program at Langara. This was my main goal from the beginning, and is a huge accomplishment for me as it is the first step into my dream career as a librarian, which is represented through this project. The program is a two-year diploma, which includes training in cataloging and library systems, as well as experience in the library itself. I'm so excited for this amazing opportunity, and I'm so happy with the way this project inspired me to continue on with my dream career. Throughout this project, I've learned so many new skills in woodworking, such as using different types of saws, always measuring twice, and waterproofing wood. Also, I learned about the way wood works itself with the, and using the grains of the wood to your advantage. Um, <laughs> also, I learned to reach out within my community when I need help and to accept my mistakes so I can move forward. So many amazing people have helped me um, with this book box and I'm so thankful for that. Thank you everyone who did help and if they're watching this video. <laughs> um, there has been a lot of trial and error with this box and I'm still working on finishing it. Um, but I'm very proud of my perseverance. If I were to change anything, it would definitely be starting earlier. 
I had overestimated my abilities and my speed, and it's good to keep that in mind for future projects. Overall, though, this process has been extremely beneficial and fun. I always love exploring new things, and I hope to see it placed in the school garden eventually. As I am graduating, I hope for this to be my final, tri final tribute to our school. If not, look for it in the Strathcona neighborhood somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for everything. And as a, as a finale, here is a slideshow of my favorite grad.